Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be going over question 1D from Matt 2023. We want to know how many distinct real solutions x are there to this equation. So we've got x squared minus 1, then we're squaring that, then we're subtracting 2 and squaring that result, then we're subtracting 3 and squaring that result, and that's supposed to be equaling 4. We want to know how many real solutions are there to this equation. So let's dive into a solution here. Well, we've got some massive thing here, squared equals 4. So that means the thing inside it has to be 2 or minus 2. So this guy here is plus or minus 2. Okay, um, then if we get minus 3, if we take that into account, what do we have here? Well, we have x squared minus 1 squared minus 2. All of that squared, uh, well, minus 3 has to be plus or minus 2. And so the x squared minus 1 squared minus 2 all squared would have to be 3 plus or minus 2, so that's 1 or 5. Okay, that's cool. And uh, now we can take care of this squared here, so by square rooting both sides and taking into account negative solutions as well. So uh, x squared minus 1 squared minus 2 would have to be plus or minus 1 or plus or minus root 5. Okay, now if we add 2 to both sides, we get x squared minus 1 squared equals 2 plus or minus 1, which is 1 or 3 and then or 2 minus root 5 or 2 plus root 5. However, 2 minus root 5 is a negative number because root 5 is obviously going to be bigger than 2 because 5 is bigger than 4. And so therefore, we know that x squared minus 1 squared can't be equal to this. So we can ignore that. But the other three are still in play here. Okay, now I'm going to deal with this square root and say that x squared minus 1 must equal plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 3 or plus or minus 2 plus root 5, oh sorry, root 3, or root that number, okay, um, and then I'm going to get x squared equals 1 plus or minus 1, so 0 or 2, and then 1 plus or minus root 3, so that's going to be or 1 plus root 3, however it can't be 1 minus root 3, because again that would be negative, and x squared can't be negative, um, or 1 plus root 2 plus root 5, because again, uh, x squared can't be negative, so I can't take the minus option here, because uh, that would be a negative number. So x squared has to be one of these uh, four numbers, and all of these are non-negative, so I can square root them, and there's going to be two solutions for x, or two values of x that when I square them I get this, so it's going to be plus or minus the root of this number. Same for this guy, I'm going to get another two. This guy, plus or minus root 2, so two solutions, and this one only has one real solution, x equals 0. So in total, I get 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is seven real solutions to this equation. I hope that solution has made sense. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.